Hello everyone, it is your old pal Livin' Dead, and I'm back with another WAD playthrough. This time we're giving a look to a WAD by the name of Green Gothic, and it goes, it's created by the user Rata Underground from the Doom World forums. Uh, big surprise there. What's interesting about this one is that they have been working on a texture set composed entirely of their own photographs and artwork. And that is what this map apparently is. So, a nice little opportunity to test out some, some assets. Sign me up, buddy. We are playing in GZ Doom, Ultraviolence. We are playing on strict compatibility settings. Let's see what we got going on here. 48 monsters in one secret. This doesn't expect to be a, a map that will take a long time. And hello, this is some cool, this is some cool visuals to start this map off with. I like this bright blue sky. So this is a map, a sky that you made apparently. Rata Underground. We'll go ahead and take the Berserk pack because that's always useful. Good night. Okay. I love these imp fireballs coming out of this wheat or this tall grass or whatever it is. I assume it's like weed or something. Wheat, not weed. That's a different color, brother. That's illegal. We don't grow that here. Uh, okay. I can be hit through the decorations. Uh, let me go ahead and just imp some, or pistol some guys. Imp some guys. What does that mean? I need something to start dying. Because I gotta get out of this area. Okay. That uh that should not have been possible. I don't understand. Sometimes it seems like infinitely tall monsters is a thing, and other times it's not for me. So I feel like I kinda cheated a little bit. But uh how am I supposed to get out of here if otherwise? I guess I probably could have just charged in and made sure I didn't get completely cornered by the imps. So gameplay wise, maybe a little bit uh on the basic side, but you know, it's okay. We're, um, I have a feeling this map is not going to, ooh, that is something, something is wrong here, guys. Oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a engine glitch or something else. I'm not really sure. I need to, to get some supplies. Uh, I am actually at risk of being chased down and murdered by lost souls. A very unceremonious death. Uh, gothic. This is called Green Gothic. Very interesting aesthetic. Photorealistic textures is kind of kind of remind you of Lost Civilization. This map in general just kind of kind of gives off those vibes. I suppose the, the photorealism is probably the reason for it. And you know, an old sprite-based uh, from the '90s era type of game. You know, I would have grown up thinking this kind of stuff was ugly looking and yet I can't help but finding this look particularly endearing. I think there is a good attention paid to the palette and how it kind of matches together. I, do, I mean I don't think the palette's been altered but you know using the palette to come up with pleasing color combinations. I'm stuck. I cannot get out of here. I don't know where I'm at. I'm 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 a little lost. Okay. Where are we going? There's some armor. That is a boon. That is a big boon on a map where I apparently don't have any supplies. I'll take it. Shotgun. All right. So a nice little explorative, explorative vibe going on here. We need to uh, kind of look around and procure our supplies. Let me go ahead and adjust this microphone. Just get it a little closer to me. Get up in here. Um... You know, little 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 distance here. Let's go back to where I was. I wanted to come back in here and see what this took me to. Now that I have some stuff, I'd love some health, but I at least have a shotgun. And a little secret door. Okay, so... It, you know, I actually kind of like it when the secret's just like, go explore something and find... find the secret and just off the path rather than have to like do this crazy combination of fucking switches and levers and sectors line defs and stuff like that look for tiny little buttons we bury in podiums and 
columns and walls and stuff like that. We just gotta go look around a little bit further than we're used to going and we'll find ourselves in a nice little secret. Um, bit of a basic visual design. Uh, just a, a nice little basin here with some waterfalls coming into it. Um, really my only problem with it is just that it's just a big old flat texture. Now here's something that would really kind of uh, promote the visual elements of your map is like, I don't know, put some kind of a jutting out sector right here, like a rock outcropping in the middle and split this down into two streams. And then it just kind of looks like it has a little bit more texture to it. There's other ways that you could kind of make this look just a tad more sophisticated. But you know, I'm sure somebody like Doom Kid would argue that you don't need to make it too sophisticated. Part of the charm is in visual simplicity, so I suppose can't say too much and then we have a demerit for that. So now we've explored the beaten path. We have found the one and only secret in the map. The rest of it should be a pretty straightforward cleanup is what this is starting to feel like it amounts to. I feel like since the super shotgun was in a secret our firepower and the enemies we fight will sort of balance each other out. Uh, the shotgun would have probably been, you know, one of the most powerful weapons. It got something a little stronger. I don't want to waste the shells, though. I have a feeling it would be a good idea to just conserve ammo wisely. Oh. But what we can also do is just miss a couple of times. You know, all right, are there going to be any health kits here? Or are we doing a... Uh, a4M1 type of thing. Where you just have to survive the map without dying. Never get health back. Well, there's a blue key. I also found the red key, which... Uh, I'm kind of curious about. And since it's in a secret, I assume I'll, I'll unlock some kind of cool item closet or something. So what do we think about the visuals here? I mean... The textures seem to complement each other really well. It's a it's a cool vibe again, like it's giving me off Lost Civilization types of vibes. Um, but it doesn't seem like it's uh, it doesn't really seem like it's ripping off Lost Civilization or anything. I do maybe question the size of these huge tree sprites just when just because of the way that sprites work. I think you can kind of you can kind of allow a little bit of the you know, the, I don't know what the effect is that you call it, that it's 2D and it's always facing you. On something that's a little bit smaller, like the imp, or this this small tree here, you know, that's not that big of a deal. But when it's like a colossal, huge, gnarly tree, it just looks, it starts to look a little bit uncanny in the wrong way, at least in my opinion. Cool little uh, lamp post, and I noticed that earlier. Nice little effect here. Looks like maybe a place you could stop in and have a drink or something. Warm your bones by the fire. Have a nice bowl of peasant pheasant stew. Peasant stew. We put our peasants in the stew in this town. The Baron is a mean man. But I like the vibe of this. This definitely gives me, you know, it's like nice little... I don't know if, if, if European towns are like this. Maybe I just play too much Resident Evil 4. Oh, no! Caco surprise, guys. Uh, let's go back this way. I'm sure not all European towns have a... Oh my god. Wait a minute. That guy didn't show up last time. I need... Ooh, okay, I need to just quick save facing the correct direction. And also, you know, let me just go up here and see if there's any resources. Fucking remnants. Alright, you know what? I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let me make things crazy difficult for myself. See if I can get some monsters to invite each other. Ah. Ah. This was the worst way to do it. Uh, but I do kind of like the fact that you can sort of make your own bed here. Make a colossal mistake. Where's it coming from? Come from here. Oh, fucking caco, buddy. This isn't even supposed to be that hard. Come on, man. Didn't let the caco show up. Where's the other one? Did I block him from showing up? Because I was in the sector by accident? Be cool if that's what happened. Oh. Oh. 
can't get me, buddy. Whoa! If that had killed me. How hilarious would that have been? Go ahead and save here. Alright. Ooh. Whoa. And thanks. Oh, and, and Barons. Barons are showing up here, guys. What do we do? It's getting dicey. I supposed to do with the red key I mean I might just exit the map but I also do kind of want to kill the monsters you guys just couldn't get along huh you had to go and kill your little round brother We ask you to get along with each other for one night so we can have a pleasant evening, and you have to ruin it like spoiled little brats. Get him. Wow, I just twofered him. I just railgunned him with the shotgun. All right, 100 kills, 100% 100 kills and 100% secrets. Still a mystery about that red key, but we're gonna go ahead and call it here, unless, this is neat. All right. Let's do a quick little fly through this map. No drag it, please. No clip. All right. Oh, let's turn on fly. Okay. Cool little thing going on here. It's a little basic. You know, there's not too much to it. Oh, how, how does that work? How does he wake up? It's a little basic. There's not too much to it visually. But, you know, let's say it was a... Uh, it was a, uh, a proof of concept for the texture pack. Is what it seems like it was mostly. And uh, I think it makes its case. Cool little castles. You know, if this was uh, the author's own artwork... They had to take some very interesting photographs, right? To get these textures. So, uh... Uh, Rata Underground has been to some interesting locales to get these kinds of photographs um, uh, uh, for his for his or her texture set. Um, cool looking little trees. I I personally think some of the tree sprites are a little bit too big, but it also helps to just kind of add to the the way things. I I, I do think it's just a shame that that's how sprites behave because I think it looks cool. I like the size of it. I don't like that a giant thing like that just is rotates that way. It's just not something that I'm personally a fan of. But it is what it is. I'm not going to, you know, get too bent out of shape about it. Cool little uh, torches to kind of just let you in this castle. My only regret, maybe, is the fact that uh, I just got to the most interesting thing in the map and it's over. I'm, I want to know what the inside of these castles look like. I want to know where you went to take these pictures or to get this artwork. That's really cool. Hopefully, uh, there's a little bit more to come from this set. Are these textures going to be used for an entire set of maps? That would be neat. If so, I'm very interested in playing it. I think uh, Lost Civilization is a banger. Got some great maps. It looks really interesting. Perhaps this can be uh, a contender for, the, for that particular style, or maybe, uh, maybe it'll be something else. But anyways, uh, that's my thoughts of this map. If you would like to play it, maybe download the texture pack. I don't know if there's a link for the texture pack. Maybe not. We'll just stare at the at the texture pack at the very least. Admire the texture pack. Click the download link in the description below. That's where you can find it. It's not a link to download it. It's a link to the thread where you can post a comment and tell the author how cool the map was. Or you can download it. Or both. In fact, I'd say it's mandatory. Do it. All right. Well, that's me. And that's the map. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have a map that you would like me to play, or you would uh, like to recommend that I play, then go ahead and send me a message on the Doom World forums, or leave a comment, or send me a carrier pigeon with a floppy disk of your map on it, and I'll play it. I'll do anything for that. See you next time, and take care.